What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a typewriter effect in Premiere Pro. So I'm in Premiere Pro CC and as you can see currently I have an adjustment layer on and all we're going to do is select the type tool. Now I'm just going to drag out a box and we're not going to put anything just yet. The first thing we're going to be doing is coming up to the effect controls, scroll down and you'll see it says text and then you'll see source text. Now you want to toggle the animation for source text. Now you also want to know what font you want to use. So select the font right now. You don't want to pick it later on because it will be a pain and you'll understand why as we get on in the tutorial. Now I'm going to pick from here Bebe's new because I think that's a nice font. So I'm then going to select my text and I'm going to select this box and what I'm going to be doing is putting in this line. So this line of course is like when you're typing, there we go, this line of course is like when you're typing and you stop on word or something and it just blinks. So we're first going to make this blink. So it's really simple to do. I'm going to lay it out so it's right there now. I know it's really thin and we're going to zoom in here. So now we're going to create some keyframes. So we're going to use this button here to go across frames and now what I recommend you do is go across five frames. So press 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. As you can see, this is taking us to 0 0.5. This is telling us it's five frames across. And what we're going to do is backspace. That's going to get rid of it. And now I'm just going to highlight this and press Control C on my keyboard. Now from this second keyframe we created, I'm going to go across five frames. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm then going to click here and I'm going to press Control V and that's going to paste it back in. And I'm going to repeat this process just a couple of times so there is a blinker um, quite some time on screen. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and I'm going to paste that in and I'm going to leave it there because as you can see it's currently now over one second. So I'm going to play what we've just done and you'll see this is how it will look. So remember this line? As you can see we created that. So the next thing is creating the actual text. So this part once again super simple come back to your type tool if you clicked off it just select here where the box is. Now we're going to come across five frames again. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to backspace and this time I'm going to put the first letter to what I want to type. Now I'm going to be typing casual savage. So I'm going to press C on my keyboard. I'm then going to come across five frames. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to press A. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to press S. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to press U. And you just keep repeating this same process. So I'm just going to fast forward this part up. So I'm pretty sure you understand how to do this by now. And I'll be back to you when it's done. So. I've written out the text I want and if I play this from the beginning what's going to happen on the first second of this video of this text track I should say it's going to be creating this blinking effect and then it's going to write out the text one by letter by letter so if I play it through super simple to do. Now you can be really creative with this, you can create uh, backspaces as if you've made a mistake, you can add a pause so after where it says casual you can pause for maybe 10 frames and then it can just type out savage and I'll actually show you that now because it's super simple and super quick to do. So right here I begin to type the S. Now all I'm going to do is highlight this part and I'm going to go across five frames from here. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to go across another five frames. One, two, three, four, five. And now I'm going to drag this keyframe to online with this. Uh, here we now have a 10 frame gap. So I'm going to play it through for you. As you can see, there was a little pause there. So that was just 10 frames just like that. Super simple to do. Um, you can reposition it after so just simply come up to the position and position this here. I do recommend position it beforehand because as you can see uh, things do become a bit off and that is now done. 
And of course you can add a typewriter effect which I will be linking in the description.